Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. We're gonna talk about the Zanger trial, John Peter Zanger for a few minutes here so you could wrap your head around it and understand it and get the question right on the exam. Now, first thing that we're gonna say is that this is not a United States court case. It's 1733, meaning that we're still loyal subjects to the crown with terrible accents. Right? And in 1733, the new royal governor appointed by the crown is a guy by the name of William Cosby. I kid you not! His name is Bill Cosby. And Cosby is as corrupt as the night is dark. He does numerous things which are really fishy. But one thing that he did which was pretty blatant was as he was attempting to increase his salary and he was running into problems with the New York court system, he fired the Chief Justice, a guy by the name of Lewis Morris, and replaced him with a friend, Charles Delancey, so he could get his momo. So at this point, there's only one newspaper in town, that's the Gazette, and the Gazette was actually um, published by a guy by the name of William Bradford, who was actually John Peter Zenger's master apprentice when he first came to this country. So the Morris folks, the judge who was fired, kind of gather um, their energy and put it behind John Peter Zenger to start a new newspaper, the New York Weekly Journal, who will um, serve as a, a voice to the opposition to the governor, basically. And there was a lot of different writers. John Peter Zenger is not a writer. He's the publisher. Some of the writers included James Alexander, who was uh, very famous for the day, speaking up against the government. And, and when that stuff was published, when they started calling him an idiot, started calling him out for the graft, for the corruption, John Peter Zenger is arrested for libel. At that time period, and even after that time period, libel meant that you were publishing things in the paper against the government. It was too dangerous. You were being seditious. You were being treacherous, treacherous, treasonous. You were being treasonous, so we had to put you in jail. And actually, John Peter Zenger's first lawyer was James Alexander, who had written under the pseudonym of Cato for the New York Weekly Journal. And at that point, the royal governor, Bill Cosby, remember Bill Cosby, he got this lawyer, Alexander DeBard. Really, he's using his royal power as the governor to do everything he can to crush the opposition. So at this point, John Peter Zenger, who ended up spending 10 months in jail, gets a new lawyer by the name of Andrew Hamilton. Not Alexander Hamilton, no relation, but Hamilton is a very famous lawyer, maybe the most famous lawyer in the colonies at that time period from Philadelphia. And what Andrew Hamilton did at the trial was very interesting. Rather than addressing the charges as they stood, and the judge who was Delancey, this is the judge that was appointed by the governor, man, this thing is corrupt, right? Is instructing the jury that you have to find Zenger guilty because libel means you publish stuff up against the government. Zenger did that, he is guilty. But Andrew Hamilton talks to the jury and basically says that this isn't just right. We could prove what they said in the New York Weekly Journal is true. Truth should be a defense against libel. That's the main idea in this case. And the jury is out for 10 minutes and comes back with a verdict of not guilty. And the courtroom goes wild. Zanger is free. We have set down the precedent that libel can be dismissed by truth, not because it's not a precedent. I mean, this is just an idea that's being set down in the colonies, and this idea is going to eventually evolve itself into the Bill of Rights, because there are royal governors after this that are gonna still clamp down on press rights. And in fact, it really isn't until 1804, in the court case People versus Croswell, where we're going to get this as a precedent, that truth is a defense against libel. But this is a very important court case because it's setting down the idea and the concept that that what's going to be the United States of America is gonna have a different spin on freedom of press. We're gonna protect the right to say what you want up against the government. So we hope you understand a little bit about John Peter Zenger and specifically the Zenger trial of 1733, 1734. And now you can go watch more videos and such like that. Where attention goes, energy flows, guys. Thanks for watching the video. And we'll see you next time that you press the buttons.